Hey there, Lisa Lubin from LL Media here. Today's video tip is about using your webcam. A lot of people are trying to shoot videos today and some people are just using a webcam and that still means you're making a video. Um, and just because you're using a webcam does not mean that your video has to be crappy. You can still make small adjustments to make even your webcam videos better. Okay, so number one is headroom. This is correct. My eyes are in the top third of the frame. A lot of people are on their laptop and when you have your laptop open normally, it's actually like this. Because now I can actually see my whole screen at the normal angle, which is comfortable for reading my screen. But this image doesn't look good. There's way too much headroom. Number two is eye contact. Most people don't do this when they're recording a video. They're looking down at the person they're talking to, the image on their screen, which is what I'm doing now. I'm looking at myself. If you're doing an interview with someone and you're talking to them like I'm talking to you now, then you want to look right into the lens of the camera. And most people don't do that. It's a little disconcerting because you're just sort of staring at this little dot, but it turns out looking good because at least I'm looking at you because I like you. Number three, make sure your laptop is on a stable surface. A lot of people have it actually on their lap, which sort of makes sense. But when you're doing an interview and you're fidgeting around, then that means your camera's moving the whole time. Right now, my laptop is on my lap. So every time I move and talk to you and laugh, it shakes. And that is really annoying. Not only that, my cat is now walking across my lap. So that's not really professional. She is very cute though. Say hi. Number four is actually your eye level. Usually the desk is low, so then you're looking down on the person and that looks weird. Maybe you can put some books under it or put it on a different surface. Number five is the lighting. Don't sit with a light behind you or a window behind you causing backlight, which causes the camera to close down, making your face darker because it's averaging the exposure. Try to think about lighting, have a, have a light shining on your face at least, so you will look good. Either face a window or have a light shining on you, not ne necessarily a light top down because that also just looks bad. So those are some simple and easy things you can start doing now to improve your webcam videos. For more help and information, go to llmedia.co and I'll see you next time.